Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dali Toshualo. Um, I'm welcoming everybody to this channel. In today's video, I'm continuing with my um, uh, baby preparation journey that I had. Um, it's a new series that I introduced in my ch on my channel and I am just showing you how I got from being pregnant to giving birth and we'll get to where we are right now so in the previous video i showed you about me uh, cleaning up my house so i told you that i wasn't gonna show you my room because i was still going to pack baby clothes and um basically uh put things together and making my room become a room for the <laughs> very first time that baby is gonna sleep in and this is the video that i took and i'm grateful to auntie judy because she helped me pack everything like the baby clothes getting ready for um baby and everything so enjoy the video and sort out these clothes with us and then finally clean up this room with us um i just want to say remember to subscribe share and comment i already appreciate that you can also share your baby journeys how you went uh with everything in baby preparation so enjoy also do not forget to follow me on um uh, social medias like facebook and um tiktok which is the little chihuahua on tiktok and facebook um i'll be glad to have you there as well now when i was buying the uh dresses or the clothes for baby i being my fourth i know that when you're buying clothes for babies you don't necessarily buy all newborns or all zero to three months or all zero to six months or something like that you probably have to buy clothes that are bigger say uh the the zeros should be very very minimal and then the rest should be at least um six months and above and the most that you, you should buy should should be of bigger uh, sizes as i am showing you the dresses they are bigger she's not yet fitting into them but because babies grow so fast and most of you who are parents would know that that babies really really um grow so fast so you realize that if you buy more of the newborns or more of the zero to three months or zero to six months sometimes they don't necessarily even wear them at all i've got um a few clothes that because skylar got a lot of presents from people as well and most of them were zero to three months zero to six zero to three months and she didn't get to put them all you know and i'll just end up probably giving them to somebody else or giving them away just because they do grow the moment they are born and they start eating that eat they grow like crazy so um that is just probably one of the things that i can tell new moms on this channel or those that are pregnant or considering one day to have a baby that you guys you have to slow down when it comes to buying baby clothes don't buy too much too many or too too much too small because they'll never put them on um some of them they'll only wear it once the moment you're going to put them again next time next week you realize that they're no longer wearing those they're no longer uh, going to put on those kind of clothes so um, 
I the clothes that I bought for her were mainly bigger sizes and right now she is only three months and wearing clothes for uh, that we're reading six months to nine months so you see all those that were newborn or zero to three months right now are useless or pretty much zero to six months are useless she is above that so um, you have to keep note of that so after uh folding all the clothes and everything then i went on to do uh the baby bassinet uh, that uh i prepared for the baby to sleep in once she's home or once she came back from the hospital and i had a few um undecided uh phases where i uh, wasn't too sure on how i should make this little bed at some point i wasn't too sure about how i should make the which blanket i should use and stuff like that but then i decided to make it like this uh, that little blanket was given to me by my workplace and it's, it's beautiful i really love it and this is exactly how um the bassinet was put and is after a few uh here and there i decided to load her diapers underneath it so that when i'm changing the baby in the night or so uh, i shouldn't uh, be bothered i also had to to put um the baby milk that was supplied to me and all that and finally voila this can you believe it is this the same room that was so dirty and that didn't look good at all oh my goodness so this is the room um the bags down below are the bags that i i prepared that i was gonna take to the hospital and these are the uh, baby milk the baby milk that was supplied to me i'm going to have uh one year worth of supply of that milk and two years worth of diapers how lucky is me anywho so this is the bed and underneath the bed is this is how i loaded it up some towels some uh, washcloths some uh flannels and what have you and on the other side i decided to put some diapers and all these things were supplied to me mostly the diapers and the milk like i've said um over here this is my side of the bed so i decided to put other essentials like the um soaps and and lotion i always use a vino uh, let me know what you moms use over there but i prefer a vino and i love it so much and i also have this little machine which is a a, a, a warmer for the wipes so you you load your wipes in there and then once you load them you turn it on and the wipes are always warm so the baby doesn't have to freak out when you're um changing them and on the other side are the other diapers that came in you guys i am loaded like diapers from zero to three you know and i'm grateful for that otherwise this is how i made the bed and everything in the room looked amazing and clean and smelling good everything was smelling new i really loved it and tell me what you think about my the way i cleaned up my room the way i loaded up stuff otherwise thank you so much for watching uh remember to subscribe share and comment i'll definitely want to know what you think about my cleaning and how you think i went i uh, will for those comments um i'll definitely see you in my next one take care and thank you for watching Bye bye